I knew from an early age that I loved being outside in nature, finding snakes, finding butterflies, finding bugs everywhere, and kind of appreciating the little guys a lot of other people pass over. My mom would say that I had these magic eyes when I was a kid and that I had this ability to just see things that other people were missing. As a biologist, I have to be able to see very small things. I study insects, which can sometimes be the size of a grain of salt. For me, my eyes are incredibly important to me. I first started noticing that I needed glasses or something when I was in about fifth grade. I would be in class and I would get headaches every single day and it was just kind of what I had to deal with. So I kind of trained my eyes to be able to see new things back when I had worse vision, was wearing contacts that would get clouded. So now that my eyes are even better, my abilities I feel like are better than ever. One of the things that really stood out to me about Visi and ICL over other procedures is the fact that it is removable. There's kind of a lot of fear with the other procedures of what if something goes wrong, you're kind of stuck with it. But with Visi and ICL, the doctors assured me this is something that is removable. When I was wearing contacts, my eyes would be just so dry and clouded over. And it wasn't until I didn't wear contacts anymore and I got Visi and ICL that I realized my red eyes were just from always having something on my eyeball. As a biologist, I've been able to go all over the place. This last expedition I did to Ecuador was my first chance to really try out my new eyes. I was so excited. It's one of the most biodiverse places in the entire world. I could see things that other biologists I was in the field with were missing. It's the biggest thrill when you're out there in the field and you're holding something or you look at something and you realize nobody else has ever seen this thing or discovered this. For years I would use contacts and when I was out in the field there was this uncertainty that I had that what if a contact falls out when I'm way out remote? What am I going to do? It's, it's pretty hard to walk around the rainforest when you can't see. So I'm walking through this pasture at the base of an Ecuadorian volcano in the Amazon. One of the things about my job is a lot of the work happens at night. I will spend hours hiking in the rainforest with just a headlamp on my head. With Visi and ICL, my eyes are now clearer than ever at night. Everybody's trying to be the one to spot something new, to see that exciting thing that other people haven't. And now I have this ability even better than I've ever had in my entire life. The Visian ICL is designed for the correction of moderate to high nearsightedness. Visian ICL surgery is intended to safely and effectively correct nearsightedness between minus 3 diopters to minus 15 diopters and partially correct nearsightedness to up to minus 20 diopters in eyes with up to 2.5 diopters of astigmatism. It is not intended to correct any astigmatism you may or may not have. If you have nearsightedness within these ranges, Visian ICL surgery may improve your distance vision without eyeglasses or contact lenses. Because the Visian ICL corrects for distance vision, it does not eliminate the need for reading glasses. You may require them at some point, even if you have never worn them before. Implantation of the Visian ICL is a surgical procedure and as such carries potentially serious risks. Please discuss the risks with your eye care professional. Complications, although rare, may include need for additional surgical procedures, inflammation, loss of cells from the back surface of the cornea, increase in eye pressure, and cataracts. You should not have Visian ICL surgery if your doctor determines that the shape of your eye is not an appropriate fit for the Visian ICL, you are pregnant or nursing, you do not meet the minimum endothelial cell density for your age at the time of implantation as determined by your eye doctor, your vision is not stable as determined by your eye doctor. Before considering Visian ICL surgery, you should have a complete eye examination and talk with your eye care professional about Visian ICL surgery, especially the potential benefits, risks, and complications. You should discuss the time needed for healing after surgery. For additional information with potential benefits, risks, and complications, please visit discovervisionicl.com.